Hey everyone, welcome to our channel. I'm Dr. Mitra and today I'm gonna explore a kind of painful topic and that's period cramps. Join me in this video and please first hit that subscribe button if you are not a subscriber and then let's get started. Period cramps, we also call it dysmenuria, is that painful sensation that women usually experience during their period cycle. They usually feel this pain in their lower abdomen and it can be ranged from mild to severe. For some women, it's just a minimal discomfort, but for some women, it's really even interferes with their daily activities as the pain is too severe. When something is too painful, people usually look for the causes. And for period cramps, we can define or classified into two categories of primary and secondary. Primarily, this uh, pain during periods is caused by the contraction of uterus, and this contraction is stimulated by uh, substances called prostaglandins. And the higher the level of prostaglandins, the more intense the contraction. But there might be secondary causes contributing to those cramps. Let's see what are um, secondary causes for period cramps. The first one is endometriosis. That happens because the lining of your uterus grows outside of the uterus. Because these pieces of tissues bleed during your period, it can also cause pain and swelling. The second one is adenomyosis. In adenomyosis, the lining of uterus grows into muscle of uterus. This condition can cause the uterus to get much bigger than it should be, along with abnormal bleeding and pain. You might have also heard uh, pelvic inflammatory disease or in brief PID. That's to do an infection which starts in the uterus and spread to other reproductive organs. It can also cause pain in the stomach or pain during sex. And Another cause can be fibroids. There are benign tumors inside your uterus. It means that mm, they are not actually dangerous or cancerous. Cervical stenosis, congenital problems can also be the causes for severe period pains. But how do we know that our pain is primary or secondary? I have seen uh, many young women coming to the office worried and anxious that, uh, Doc, do we have Kists? Do we have polyps? Is there anything dangerous? Should I be worried about this pain? I give you some tips in this regard. One of the signs is that you experience severe pain or when it gets more severe than you already used to experience in the past or when your menstrual cycle is regular. It can be an indication of polycystic ovarian syndrome or hormonal imbalances or sometimes you experience heavy bleeding that is beyond expectation. It can be an indication of adenomyosis or uterine fibroids. And then there are secondary causes. Usually other symptoms are sign accompany the severe cramps during period. For example, you might have pain during intercourse or bleeding or spotting or even pain outside of your menstruation or you have urinary symptoms or you have pain during bowel movements. So be careful about these signs and symptoms. And remember that if a close family member of yours is also suffering from severe pain, for example, your mom, your sis, so you are more susceptible to suffer severe cramps during your periods. Or if uh, one of your family members, like your mom and sis, are suffering from one of these secondary causes, for example, like uh, uterine fibroids or uh, adenomyosis, then again, you're more likely to be diagnosed with a secondary cause for your severe cramps. And uh, one interesting point is, what is the mechanism of these period cramps, whether it's secondary or primary? Then the uterus contracts. It puts pressure on the blood vessel in the uterus, and so it reduces the blood flow there, leading to a temporary oxygen deprivation and then causing pain. And now, what treatments or remedies can help us mm, get rid of that severe cramps beat? The one I always recommend, and it has really worked for so many girls, is heat therapy. Applying a heating pad or a warm water bottle to the lower abdomen can help relax the contracting muscles 
and increases blood flow and reduces pain. It also reduces inflammation in secondary causes and then resulting in reduced pain. One of the common ways is taking over-the-counter medication or painkillers like ibuprofen, naproxen. There are uh, a group of medication called NSAID. They stop the production of prostaglandins and in this way they contribute to the relief of pain. But for a recommended dosage, you'd better uh, consult with your healthcare provider as you know, the, the, there are different recommendations based on the person's uh, underlying conditions and sometimes the severity of pain. For example, if you are a person who suffers from severe cramps, so it's recommended to take the painkiller at the early phase. But if you wait until the pain gets worse and worse, so in this way, maybe that doesn't work very well. And besides these medications, you can also try herbal remedies such as ginger tea or chamomile tea. Ginger has anti-inflammatory properties and chamomile has soothing effects that can relax the uterus. However, it's very important to consult with a healthcare provider that these herbal remedies do not uh, worsen any existing conditions. And also practicing yoga, meditation and some certain types of stretching can help relax your body and your uterus but I think it's a little crazy to recommend it to someone who is now suffering from the pain but in longer term if you practice them during the months gradually they can help you uh, experience less severe period cramps again different people have different experiences and I'm sure that most of you have uh, try different remedies, different solutions, and I would appreciate if you share it in the comments and let other people know that what has worked for you. Remember, if your cramps are severe, persist despite home treatments, or accompanied by other concerning symptoms, it's crucial to seek medical advice. So take care of yourself and hope this video has been useful for you. Please like, comment if you have any questions or suggestions, and subscribe my channel for more videos like this. See you next time.